Hi, Dom. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good, good, good. Um, obviously, you've had a, a day or two to sort of uh, digest the result from the, the first test. What's the sort of general overall feeling among the players about uh, what happened there? Yeah, obviously disappointed. Um, first test match, you'd obviously like to win it, but I think, again, it's obviously the, it is the first test, the first game for a lot of us. Um, that's no excuse, but I think there was um, some, some rust in there. Um, I think that's certainly certainly gone. And I know after the game, obviously Stokesy Spoons spoke, um, and yeah, we, we're obviously very keen to uh, turn it around up here. Would it be fair to say it was uh, maybe a, a case of missed opportunities? Yeah, you could say that. Um, I tell you what, the great thing about it, and you, I'm, I'm a big one to look at the positives. I think we created a lot of opportunities. Um, I know there was. One with uh, Blackwood glove. Um, I didn't actually realise at the time. Obviously, there was one at Gully that um, Burnsy said it flew past him. But I mean, they're the good things. We're, we're creating these chances, um, and we just got to take them. I guess this test. Obviously, there's been an awful lot of debate about uh, selections, uh, not only for the first one, but then what happens with the, the second test. How difficult a job do you think that everybody concerned in terms of the selection process has? when you look at the, the, the talent that's available and, and where everybody is going to fit in in this series going forward? I think it's a great, I think it's a great thing to have. I think, um, I know, I wouldn't say obviously I'm part of it at all because just come in, but um, you look at sort of, I guess as coaches, captains, um, senior players, that's where you want the side, you want that, um, you want that challenge, you want that competition for places. And I think you go through the whole squad and, for every sort of role there is, there's at least two, three people that can do that role. Um, and that, I think that's a really positive place to be. Um, and again, I think, I think it's only going to produce uh, um, success in the long term when we've got, you got the likes of Stuart Broad missing out the first test match. And I know a lot of people have said a lot of things. Um, I know he was gutted. And that just shows you how, I think, how much depth we've got here. One of the greatest England's had and he's had to miss out the first test match. Um, I think it just shows you how good the quality it is. Um, was he closing on 500 wickets now? And um, he's missed out. And um, hopefully, or whatever happens, he'll be sort of coming in probably. Um, and I mean, he's got mm -hmm. bowlers um, potentially coming in. And that's the great thing about it. It's a great opportunity. And for you personally, um, Old Trafford wickets tend to be pretty fast and bouncy. Um, we'll no doubt see the, the quicks having a lot of fun on there, but how will that affect things as far as you're concerned, do you think? No, I'm looking forward to it. It's the first time I've played at Old Trafford. Well, hopefully if I get picked anyway. Um, I mean, yeah, I think you always know it's good wickets up here. You know that um, there's good footholds usually. So for me, if I do get picked, I think, again, it's... It's making sure that I'm doing the right things, uh, making sure I'm best prepared. And I think I did that really well in Southampton. Um, personally, I was a bit gutted with sort of how I guess it came out. Well, I was really happy how it came out, just potentially the opportunities um, that probably went missing in that um, last innings. Um, it would have been nice to have that LB shout. Um, I think it potentially could have um, sort of got us on a roll. We would have them four down by then. Then. Um, so for me personally, it's coming out really nicely and yeah, like I said, if I get picked, um, hopefully we'll get a big score and I can spin a couple out. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Fraser. We'll go David Charlesworth from the Press Association, please. Thanks, Danny. Hi, Tom. Um, you, you touched on it there. You, you went wicket wicketless on the final day, but it, it's very fine margins. On another day, you could have had three. So is it just a case of reminding yourself of like how the vagaries of test cricket can, can be sometimes? Yeah, I think, um, again, I know I, know I went wickedless that um, game, but like you said, it could, have, it could have turned. And actually, the thing that I'm focused on is um, how well it's coming out at the moment. I do feel really dangerous. Um, and that's a great place to be. I think as a spinner, um, some will go your way someday, some won't. And that, again, that is cricket. Um, I don't look too much into that. Um, obviously, I want to, I guess, contribute uh, with both bat ball and in the field. And like I said, when my opportunities come, I just want to make sure I take them. 
Is I mean, yeah, you, you say you're obviously not focused on it too much, but is it an experience that you might think is is better in the long run, maybe? Yeah, I mean, every experience is going to be good. Um, like I said, I'm used to bowling on spinning wickets. That's not. I'm not worried, and I guess people talk about this pressure of it being on me the last day. And I know I've spoken a lot with Leachy about it. This this pressure that people put on us. I actually flip it around. It's a great opportunity. If if it's like it's like saying to a seamer, "Oh, it's a green one today." It's like, are you worried about getting them out? Like, no, of course you're not. You're excited because it's probably in your favour a little bit more, and that's that's how I look at it. Certainly, um, the last couple of days, and hopefully when it spins, um, it's sort of my time to shine, I guess, and sort of stand up for the side. And then certainly going first innings. I mean, for me to hold, do a holding role, and hopefully pick up wickets through pressure. Um, again, it's really key, and it's it's all about partnerships, I think, and um, it's something actually Brody and Jimmy and sort of the elder statement of the group are massively on is, is a team performance and a bowling unit and um, I think we're certainly buying into that. And when I've been in this environment, I certainly feel like there is that. Excellent. Thanks, Tom. Cheers, Danny. Okay, John Etheridge, please. Uh, Tom, uh, you say that you're feeling really dangerous. Uh, how does that sort of manifest itself? Uh, in what way? How does it, what does it feel like when the ball's coming out of the Sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, I mean, you say that you're feeling really dangerous right now as a bowler. How does that sort of manifest itself in the way you bowl? What does it feel like when the ball's coming out so well? Bounce, bit of spin when it spins. Um, feel like I'm attacking both edges of the bat. Uh, and I guess my consistency and accuracy within where I'm landing it is dangerous. Um, and I guess that comes through practice training, um, getting that feel, getting that rhythm for myself. I know um, I'm very big on my rhythm and getting into it. Um, yeah, it's just a feeling, I guess, and, and that certainly I think I've got at the moment. And just going to ask you about the, the kind of spinners pecking order. Uh, there were five spinners in that in the squad, weren't there, and it was, before it was trimmed down, but there's still, you know, Leach and there's Mo and Ali, and at the moment you're the guy in possession, so that must be... That must be a good feeling. Great feeling. Um, like, like you put it that way, um, I'm playing at the moment, but again, I'm not taking it as a, I'm not taking it for guaranteed. Like, I know Leachy's behind me and I know how much he's worked. And I've had to fight for my spot for a long time, I guess, um, and always being behind. And potentially it's a little bit different um, at the moment right now, um, the feeling, I guess. But again, it's making sure that as well, I just focus on what I can control, I guess. And I know it's a big cliche, but um, it is as simple as that. I've got, to, I've got to make sure I'm doing what I can do day in, day out. Um, again, there's no, there's no rivalry with it. We're, we're helping each other to, I guess, be as best we can for the England side. And, and that's a great place to be. Thanks, John. Will McPherson and Sam Ellard, please. Hi Dom, I was just, I was just we were talking about Leachy there, I was wondering kind of how he is, he's obviously had an interesting winter um, and then now he's dropped back in the pecking order behind you and that's sort of an inversion of what you guys have probably known up until now in your careers at Somerset and even with England, so is he, is he sort of travelling okay and his mood's good? Yeah, he's doing really well, um, he, Leachy's a great man and even when I did get picked and he got put in the reserves, um, he was the first one to come up to me. We had a chat, we had a coffee. Um, we just chatted about spin and how, how it's coming out and how he was feeling, how I was feeling. And again, there's, there's obviously going to be that um, individual disappointment. But like I said, we're so close and, and we can chat about things and there's no, there's no awkwardness, there's none of that rivalry. At the end of the day, when one of us has done well and the other one, it's, it's always the flip as being spinners, being in competition. But... Again, we're sort. I, I certainly feel like we're working as a team together, um, and obviously with Dorse as well. He's while he's been away, he's been concentrating on what he can do to improve, and and he's he's looking dangerous as well at, at this moment in time. And I think, um, say say we ever need two spinners, and whoever's in possession and whoever's second, I think it's going to be a dangerous combination. Um, I know, I was I was personally a bit gutted, obviously missing out in Sri Lanka and missing that sort of tour because I feel like 
Firstly, it would have been amazing to play with him, but also I think we would have been real dangerous out there. Um, and obviously, had Parky played as well, it's, we had a great variety there. Thanks, Will. Sam please. Hey, Dom, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Uh, Dom, a lot's been made about England's sort of poor start to series over the past couple of days. I know you haven't been involved in in every series, but I was just wondering, do you think there's any specific reason as to why England get off to you know, really disappointing starts in, in series? Do you think maybe in this case, the West Indies were just better prepared with the circumstances being over here for such a long period of time? Um, mate, it's a good question. I, I, I don't know how to really answer it. Um, I know, I know there's obviously probably that record of England not getting off to the best start, but OK, we haven't got off to the best start again, but I think you look at South Africa, we didn't get off to the greatest there and we turned that round pretty quickly and I know that was something that was said and um, was made sort of, we were reminded for, that actually we turned it round in South Africa and there's no reason why we can't do it here. Um, the boys are looking really sharp, I think. I think... Uh, it's nice to obviously see the lads second innings get in, get some runs. Um, and do you know what the great positive again was we almost put ourselves in a great position to actually take a little bit more out of the game. If it wasn't for that last sort of evening session, um, I think we would have taken a little bit more out of the sort of time out of the game. And it could have been a different result um, with potentially 40, 50 more runs and probably half an hour, 45 minutes later. But personally, from my experience, it's... It, also reminds me how long Test Match Cricket is um, and I was speaking to Burnsy about it afterwards actually if, if me and Popey potentially got through that evening session and we were coming out um, day five it could have looked at, it could have been a little bit different um, and again it's it's for us to learn and hopefully coming into the Old Trafford game um, we can take those experiences. Okay we're going to take three more one from Arani Kushik and we'll finish with Alan from Crick Info. Arani, go ahead. 